Good morning students. A warm welcome to all of you. Myself, Maria Fernandez from Adarsh Education Society. Our today's subject is English, Standard 7th, Topic, The King's Choice, Part 3 by Shankar. The King's Choice, Part 3. So students, in our last video, that is, in Part 2, we saw how the fox told lies to the camel that the lion has killed his master and he is dead and brought the camel to the lion. The camel brought the lion and his courtiers back to the forest by carrying them on the back. So the lion was happy with the camel and offered him protection. Now let us see if the courtiers are pleased with the lion's decision. The lion's courtiers were shocked. Had they not risked their lives so that he could try camel meat? And the king wanted to let the camel live. The courtiers were not pleased with his decision. Yet they could do nothing. Now the lion's paws were so badly burnt that he could not go hunting. But that did not keep him from growing very hungry. Indeed, fox, leopard, vulture... He shouted, Don't you see that I am ill and hungry? Go and get me some food. The courtiers had to obey the king. So out they went, but they did not go far. They sat down in a safe place and discussed what they could do. I know, said the fox, after a while. We shall make the camel ask to be eaten. He told the others of his plan. They all agreed so back they went to the king. So students, the three courtiers were shocked to hear this. Did we not save the king's life, they thought? Instead of having a feast, what did they get? Actually nothing. They were not at all happy with his decision. But they could do nothing. The king ordered the three of them to find some food for him since he had burnt his paws and would not be able to hunt for a few days. They went in search of food, but did not go too far and sat down to discuss their next move. The fox thought of another plan to kill the camel and told his friends about the plan. They agreed that it was a good plan. The three then went back to the king. First, the vulture stepped forward. Your Majesty, he said bowing low, we have found no food, but we cannot let your Majesty suffer. I am a poor creature, eat me. The fox pushed the vulture aside. I have more meat on me, he cried. Eat me, your Majesty. Now the leopard rushed forward. I am not much good, he cried but I could make a meal for the king. The camel listened to all these offers. He must do as much he thought. Your majesty, he said, I too am willing to give my life for you. Please eat me instead of these old friends of yours, who will be more useful than I am. So students, the vulture spoke first. Your majesty. We were unable to find any food in the forest. Hence, I offer myself to you. You can eat me and fill your stomach. At once, the fox jumped in. You are too small. I have more flesh than you. Let the king eat me. Now, the leopard rushed forward and said, I am much bigger and have more flesh than both of you. The king should eat me. The camel was watching all this. He said, Your Majesty, you, you should eat me. I am the largest and all of you will have food to eat. These three are more useful to you than I. This was what the fox, the leopard and the vulture were waiting for. They prepared to jump at the camel, but the lion stopped them. You are all good and loyal subjects, he said. 
My heart is touched by your offers. I accept them all. I shall eat you in the order in which you offered yourselves. The vulture, the fox and the leopard were shocked. Away flew the vulture, away ran the fox and the leopard. They were never seen in the forest again. So students, hearing this, the three courtiers became happy. And this is what they were waiting for. They at once became ready to pounce on the camel. But the king had other plans. He stopped them and said, Well, you all are good and loyal subjects. I am touched by your offers. I will eat all of you in the order that you have presented yourself. All the three animals were shocked. Before the king could finish his sentence, the vulture flew away. The fox and the leopard ran away as fast as they could. Only the camel stood puzzled. The lion laughed to see them go. Then he turned to the camel and said, You have been loyal and good. You shall be my friend as long as we are alive. The camel was happy and grateful. The lion thought to himself, To be king is good, but to be kind is better. Written by Shankar from Folk Tales Retold. So students, the lion laughed loudly. loudly. He turned towards the camel and said, you have been loyal and true. From this day forth, we shall be friends. The camel was happy and thankful. The lion thought to himself, To be king is good, but to be kind is better. So students, remember that kindness always gives us great rewards. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Until we meet again, I would like to thank you.